I want to talk about driveway security today. So I've got, you see this flower bed here, I'll do some better shots of it. But I've got everything funneled to this driveway and the reason I do that is we're out here in the sticks. We go to work, we have day jobs. The cabin's left all alone, so what do you do? Meth is horrible in Tennessee. Opiate addiction is horrible and everybody's gone from the pill now to heroin. With no jobs, that means they steal. You cannot make everything bulletproof. What I have done, I've tried to do, and still trying to do, I want to make it harder on the, th on the person that's wanting to steal and make him go to my neighbors. My neighbors are not security sensitive like I am. So at first glance, you look at my place, you're gonna, nope, and they go on. So uh, another thing, I've had some neighbors, they're pretty friendly, walk in unannounced. I'm not cool with that. So I'm gonna walk you through some things that I've got some driveway alarms and I got cameras. So I'm just gonna do a walk and talk and walk you through. I'm not gonna show you everything at my cabin because I understand, I'm not an idiot. This is the internet and somebody could use this against me. I'm gonna take you to the gate and a little bit past that. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the cabin. Uh, there's plenty of things you can Google and uh, do your own research on. I don't wanna go too far and too elaborate on the rest of the systems that I have. But I will walk you what I'm hoping will deter somebody and send them down the road and rip my neighbors off. So I'll start walking you through everything we have here at the driveway. So I want to start walking you through, and I'm sorry for the wind if it's too loud. So here's where I was standing talking to you originally. I've got this flower bed here. And what that's doing, that is forcing you down the driveway. And I've got a camera right over here. I've got another project that I'm starting on. I'm building a flower bed here. And I'm going to make this pretty big. And then I'll put some nice wildflowers. But what I'm doing, I'm forcing you down the driveway. And there's a reason for that. I want you to hit the cameras, that way I can get your face on there. So let's go to the first camera. And I'm trying not to trip while I talk. There's the first camera. I'm not pointing it at the road because I do believe in privacy, but I am pointing it right at the camera, or the camera right at the gate. So if you come down the gate, I'm gonna get you walking by. So let's go on down to the gate. And like I said, I'm gonna try to talk and walk. So I've left all this grown up. And the reason I've left it grown up, it's all briars and stickers. Yeah, it's not very attractive, but good luck trying to get through that. Then I've got T-posts through here. Then I've driven tube steel. You can't drive around the gate. And then I'm gonna try to give you a first clue that you're not welcome here. I've got these signs here. And uh, I actually mean it. If you come past this gate, I've already got this sided in. So now I've got this tin set up to force you to try to come to the lock. The reason for that is, I've got a camera here pointing at you. Now you see the sign, what I'm saying here, Tennessee has a, a, a statue that if, if you post notice that no guns are allowed and there's a theft or any type of shooting accident, etc., it becomes very hard in court to win. So I've got this sign up, it's posted, no guns allowed over here. So you show up with a gun, I hate it for you. So then I've got a security light right here, points at the gate, more signs, and even one that's pretty blunt. Then I've got bullets that I've put on here. That gives you a clue that you're not welcome here. More no trespassing signs. Another tra no trespass sign. I mount all my signs on plywood, that way they'll hold up. So we're gonna come to the last little segment here. I won't walk past this because I don't want the rest of the internet world knowing what I got. One more sign, one more camera. Now I've got driveway alarms. So these driveway alarms are pretty awesome. So I've, there's two of them, one, two. I've got one set as a barking dog. And then I got the next one set as a doorbell. The reason I have two different announcements, the first one, if you hit the gate, 
I know you're at the gate. If you hit the second one, I know you've walked past that gate and it's game on. And then there's the cabin and I've got you sighted in. And uh, the rest of it, I've got very secure. Like I said, I won't get into the rest of it, but uh, that's it. And uh, I try to, I've got fencing on both sides of my gate that's hard to see. I've gone with the landscape blended fencing. It's all hunter green, it makes it hard to see in the woods. Uh, you're walking at night, you're gonna stumble all over it. And I'll show you one more thing we do and then I'll, I'll wrap the video up. Doesn't have to all be serious. So uh, I try to name all of our ATV trails and uh, it helps everybody kind of know what's going on. Hey, I'm gonna go, this one's named after me. It's Grouch and Grouch will take you to one of the deer stands. So you can say, I'm going to the Grouch stand. And then we've got one over here that we name. Like I said, there's more signs here, but this one's named after my grandson. And we're doing on the rest of the, we do all of our ATV trails this way. It just keeps it straight and it helps everybody out. And hey, where are you going? Where you, and we've got radios. Hey, my four wheelers broke down I'm on Aspen. So it helps, keeps everybody straight. So I do appreciate you watching. Uh, please give me a like, please subscribe, and uh, please do it. give me a share too. It's, uh, we're trying to help each other learn here. So I appreciate you watching, and uh, God bless.